Since the beginning, I want to make clear that this video is for learning purposes only. Don't try to mess with a connection that you don't own or you don't have permission to explore, let's say. And today I want to talk about a project Python based on which I don't have any contribution to, but it, it, it looks really awesome. So I thought, why not? Uh, this project is built fully in Python using Scapy by a fellow YouTuber named Hack the Clown. And it's very, very simple and it works almost out of the box. As you can see here as GitHub page. And if you go to YouTube demos, you will have the DNS sniffer MAND in the middle attack are AFP spoofing. So what is a MAN in the middle attack? It's like when you are capturing the package a device sends before it sends out and vice versa before it's received. Basically you are in the middle of the connection. For this project you will have just to have Python installed. If we are checking the requirements you will need the Mac vendor lookup and also there are a couple of modules that you have to install such as Colorama and Scapy. It's very straightforward. It will target the router and it will analyze all the devices and you can just pick one out of uh, all of them in order to analyze the traffic. So in order to play with it, I'm using one of my Raspberry Pi's 3B+. Let's SSH into it. it will be pi one one two one six eight one 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 one. Hopefully. Now, I think I have the CD into test. Yes, and I have the Python script here. We can look into it. Uh, DNS that pi, and you can see it's basically the same as you saw on github i just added one line that it's not very helpful so that's why i will delete it it just makes the terminal to, to run slower so firstly we will try this attack using wi-fi and it will be a bit slower and then we will switch to a wired connection and you can see the difference you have to keep in mind that this attack is made only to figure out some information and then you should leave the target because it makes the target's connection a bit slower and for some devices it will be impossible to, to connect to something. So in order to launch the attack we will have to use Python 3 and then the DNS by script uh, network because this is one of the requirements and you can have 192.168.1 or not you can have that 0, that 0 slash 24 depending on your router for example you'll see just in one second what what I'm talking about and another mandatory one is the router IP so my router IP is 192.168.1.1 If your router IP is 192.168.0 So if here you'll have a 0 Then it's okay to let it this way with 0 here But if mine has an 1 Then we'll switch to 1 here It depends on your, on your router Then we will need also iFace Which will be your Wi-Fi card. In this case, I have only one Wi-Fi card connected, the, the one that it's in the Pi, so it will be zero, because that's the only one. You have to keep in mind, you have to use the Wi-Fi card that you are using to connect to that Wi-Fi. So it won't work with the dongle that is on monitor mode or with the separate, you just don't need another Wi-Fi card. You just need one. So let's see. launching the attack it's sending the packets okay 
now we have now now I know why my my phone was not picked up because I didn't do anything on it so basically I didn't have any active connection so let's try and pick it 103 so it tries to go to Google amazon.com now I'm in the Amazon page so let's switch the page and if I'm going to let's say wiggle now it says wiggle so wiggle appeared there what else let's go on github yeah it appeared github let's try I, I don't have any other pages to load you know what let's switch to to the wired connection because this is this is too slow so the video is getting to so i will just cut down this raspberry pi and i will switch to the wired connection okay now we are in the wired connection and it will be 113 okay let's go to test and here since now we are not using wi-fi anymore and we are using the wired connection we'll have to switch the interface so it will be adh0 it's beginning the transmission you see it's much faster works much better and let's say 192.168.1.103 which is my phone IP seems down because my phone I, I, I think I have to change my phone literally that keeps disconnecting from the internet This is not a good test, unfortunately. But let's try again. So currently I'm checking on my phone to website, have I been pound? So this is the first thing that should appear on the screen. Now I'm checking the wiggle.net uploads. You have a lot of requests to Google, of course. So you have here the time when it was accessed and the date the IP that you are targeting and the websites that the target tries to reach. So you see, even if I'm not accessing Facebook and Google, it does a lot of requests to Facebook. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm searching using Google Chrome, but I'm not using Facebook at this moment. And it still sends requests to Facebook. See wiggle.net we have. Then we should have also have I been found. Wiggle.net again. It's a little slower because I, I, I did something in order to, to make the phone, let's say, 
to reach the internet more easily because before my when the attack was on my phone was not usable so i did a, a small modification and this will slow down the process of the attack but it can be it can be reversed so as he suggested here i did an ip forwarding in order for my connection to be faster on my phone so that's why it's it's slower on on the attack but it works so if i go back now you see have i been found so it's a little slower but it works if i go back now to amazon so i'm accessing now amazon.com you see that code.uk now let's go back to wiggle and we have wiggle here wiggle again so yeah it works the thing is this type of attacks should run until you find the information that you want so for example okay i'm seeing that this person is using amazon.co.uk now i know that it's somewhere near uk or a country that it's closer to uk than to the states so it will receive packages uh, easily you can see that it's using facebook and maybe you can try and target their facebook profile or i don't know anything that can be useful for an attacker and you could see that it search for have i been pawned so maybe this person got hacked before so that means it still has some vulnerabilities available maybe they're not very tech savvy so yeah, it's it's useful it depends on what do you want to to use it oh look it, it it also sends requests to linkedin even if i'm not using linkedin currently and all my notifications are off so yeah a, a lot of requests without you knowing that the requests are sent okay i hope this was useful please check this guy's um, github profile also he did a youtube video with all the information that you need related to, to spoofing, to, to attacks, to man, man in the middle, everything that you would need to know. I, I will share the link in the description, so please check it out. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. See you in the next video. Cheers.